here is my, my lightning talk about learning to program. Uh, because what I found out kind of interesting and uh, a thing that makes me sad about our community is that we love to make memes about other languages, about every language. In, in fact, we like to hate language before we really know uh, if the language or framework is useful for us or not, and what is about the, the language. Uh, so I encourage everyone to learn the language before we say that some language is bad, is um, useful, is sad, or, or anything. Because we love to, to make memes and we love to hate the languages. We love to share the hatred for languages, for frameworks, but we don't really know if they are really that bad, if a language is used so widely, like Java or C++ or JavaScript or any other language, there is a reason behind it. So I encourage you all to not hate because everyone hates some language, but first try to learn it. And I can show you on, uh, on a screenshot one of the projects I made um, to learn a PowerShell because I was uh, in a project uh, in one uh, in, at my work that used uh, PowerShell heavily. That was like 90% of the project was written in PowerShell. So I had to learn it. Even though most of my experience with PowerShell was like colleagues talking to me, no, no, don't learn PowerShell. If anyone tells you you have to work in PowerShell, run away. Because it's a so bad language and don't do it to yourself. But well, work is work. I had this project, I had to work with it. So I decided, okay, I have to learn the PowerShell to understand what's going on. So I decided the best way to learn something that is probably something bad and I should hate it because everyone to told me it's so bad language, then I should do something fun with it. So I created a Huntman game. Uh, in a textual form, it's uh, running from the command line. And during learning it, I discovered that PowerShell is just a normal language, like every other language. It has its own quirks, of course, but it's not that bad what everyone was trying to tell me that, that it is. So I encourage you all that before you, you judge any language, any framework, any concept, you try to learn it. And here I have a list of, of different projects that may be used for it. Uh, I encourage to learn like by like doing some small one-day project. The Hangman took me like a day to, to write it and maybe another few minutes here and there to make it more pretty. Uh, so here are lots of, of different challenges for programming, uh, there are different types of challenges. So I encourage you to either try to random choose one or read through it uh, to think which, uh, which challenge may be good to learn the language. Try to do it in a free one day because most of these projects are like one day projects. And only after you do something with the language, with the framework, with the concept, then, yes, you can say that you hate it, but only after you do something in this language. So please don't comment on the language that it's bad because something if you didn't done anything in it. Just try at least a little bit something like Huntman or anything like tic-tac-toe or snake or anything. Uh, I even found uh, that someone make a snake or using only CSS, so it's possible. So go try to, to find something and some, uh, some creative way to do something. And please learn before you judge. And that's all I had to, do, to tell to you about this uh, in this lightning talk. Thank you. Have you got any comments, questions about it? I see that here we have something. Uh, a longer comment from Indranil. Uh, any questions? 
not then I think we can go ahead. Please. Yes, uh, so I have faced this discrimination, you know, in uh, physics curriculum said, so they don't even care to look at, into Python or R. So they are always saying that, yeah, Fortran is the best. We should not look into other languages, either Fortran or C++, Fortran or C++. So I have faced this a lot in my uh, university studies, you know, so that's it. Just wanted to share this.